came all fired up tonight. I'll tell you, I just thought he uh, really wasn't sure during practice today. He had uh, decent practice. It wasn't great, but I thought uh, tonight in the game, even right before the game, uh, after we were going out, probably going out and warming up, they just had a little visit with him. He said he was ready and really focused and uh, said just really locked in. And I thought he went out and, and did it from the start, rebounding and trying to get extra opportunities and scoring at the basket. What did you show him, you know, in film over the past couple of days to try and get him back or try and at least get that motivation back to where he needed to be? Uh, nothing more. Uh, it, it's just, uh, I think, Johnny been out there in practice and, and, and continuing to work hard and understanding his importance of uh, energy and plan and understanding and being able to put games behind him. Didn't have a great game the other night, went one for five and unfortunately fouled out. Uh, there in the game, but I thought uh, tonight he didn't allow the last game to bother him. He came out uh, focused tonight and continued to play, got off to a great start, made his first couple of shots and uh, got some big boards and defended well and uh, just thought he played with it at a whole different level tonight. The way, the way that he played though with that intensity, how did that feed into the game plan of uh, maybe getting those guys in foul trouble and then taking advantage of some size that you had? Well, I thought uh, once uh, Damian, their, their post guy, got in, in, in trouble, one, we were going at him early on because we wanted to go inside, outside, and Johnny worked angles and got him in foul trouble, but we wanted to be consistent in terms of going at him. We didn't shoot a great percentage in the first half, only 30-some percent. In the second half, I thought for a period they were shooting a real high percentage, over 60. Uh, finish, I think, was about 58 there in the uh, second half. But at the same time, it was because of post touches that we were getting and running the ball through the post. They got in the zone, thought we did a great job of being patient, getting the ball in the areas that we needed to, and uh, had the movement that we needed. And those guys executed in terms of making shots. Uh, they had open shots, and uh, to see those shots go down inside and outside. Uh, makes you feel a lot better and a lot more relaxed and more confident. Are you hoping that the energy Johnny brought that now he understands that he has to play that what the effect he has on his teammates and you hope this this performance will show him this is how this is how you can affect our whole team. Yeah what we've got to make sure of is that we don't just have to rely on Johnny in terms of his scoring, uh, but in terms of the impact that he can make on the game, whether he's scoring or not, because if we can get the ball in there, force the team to try to double him the nice pass out he was very uh, strong and then when he tried to double him tonight, he made the right passes. He was a lot tougher in the air uh, than he's been in, in the last few games. And then his teammates on the backside uh, have to make the right plays and be able to finish. And I thought that they were able to do that. And I thought Johnny rebounded. Uh, regardless of how he's scoring, I think he can uh, certainly always uh, make an impact on that end and getting 12 tonight. And I think we wound up with uh, what. Uh, four offensive uh, rebounds and those putbacks and get to the line 14 times, that puts a lot of pressure on the team and really helps us. How much on, how often do you think he feels the pressure to kind of play the role of facilitator too? He said he's been kind of hesitant looking to try and make plays for other guys at certain points. How much do you feel like tonight was just having him be a little bit selfish and get back to that sort of? Well, I think it was more how they played him. I thought initially they just, uh, they didn't double him uh, right off the bat. I thought he found some creases and made some plays and uh, Kind of got in the rhythm. And he came back and he had a little elbow shot down. I think he stretched out and they counted as a three. Yeah, he knocked down a three uh, as well. And uh, I thought he kind of had his game working and was really confident. But he really started inside and uh, got relaxed. And then I thought he played extremely confident tonight. It seemed like he attacked the zone a lot better. The ball movement was quicker. The decisions were quicker. It was, like, it was more aggressive. Well, we were able to uh, put a little bit of a wrinkle in uh, the last couple of days in practice, uh, something that we needed in terms of our movement. We wanted to make sure that our high-low action was there. But I can tell you, our zone offense looks a lot better uh, when those outside shots are going down and we're making plays that it looks really bad uh, when we're not making shots. And tonight it was different. You know, we made shots from the outside. Johnny and them were able to attack inside and, and get some creases. And uh, when they didn't, when they got fouled, we got to the free throw line and and made some free throws, shoot what, 70, 75%, I guess, from the uh, free throw line. That's a good night for us. And when you, you when those shots are going down, it, it's a lot easier. But we had a little bit of movement, some screen and action up at the top. I thought it helped. It's kind of a night of redemption for Tim, too. That, that maybe was as, as well as he's played in a game. What did you like about I thought game? defensively he was really good. Uh, the player, I tell you, he's uh, Really quick fuller uh, in terms of getting in the lane. He's leading their team in free throws taken per game. And I thought Tim did a great job of keeping him out of the lane and not giving him creases and getting to, allowing him to have to get to the free throw line because we were fouling him uh, inside. And uh, when he did try to get shots off, I thought we did a great job of crowding him 
and uh, contesting his shots. And he's a really good shooter, really solid player. I uh, would really credit Tim for that. I thought he, uh, Tiki did a great job starting on him, but I thought Tim came in and, and kept the pressure on him.